Hello everybody. Okay, so I have a new Pimax 8K X virtual reality headset. It's super fancy, really nice high resolution, um, excellent field of view. I've been using it for four or five days now and I have to say pretty much everything's been completely satisfactory. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Um, until today. I've been having a problem where when I start the computer up, sometimes the lighthouse tracking works, and that's the way it's been for the first four or five days I've been using it. It's consistently worked. But starting today, sometimes when I start the computer, the lighthouse tracking isn't working. And it's as if the headset has fallen back on the nine axis tracking without the lighthouse, and there's no way to get it out of that state that I found other than rebooting the computer a bunch of times and hoping that it comes up working. But I think I have found a workaround. So let's see what we get with, we just started up the computer now. Um, let's log in and see if it's working or not. Okay. So the first test is to just go into PyTool. Okay, this is the malfunction state. Um, it's supposed to be using the lighthouse tracking, but it says the name of the headset without any base stations. And inside the HMD, I do see the test pattern. Um, so it should be complaining to me saying it's not tracked, telling me to put it in view of the base station and have one or more of the base stations blinking. I only have one V2 lighthouse right now in this location. So normally one of these base station indicators would be on. And what I've discovered is if you go into the settings, um, and by the way, this is the most current version of PyTool and it's the most current version of the firmware for the headset. But here in the HMD settings, when it is actually working and you switch between nine axis and lighthouse, you get the behavior you expect. But when it's in this state, when the tracking seems like it's stuck in nine axis, it doesn't matter which you choose. If we choose nine axis now, it still thinks that it's um, not using the base station for tracking. And if we switch it back to Lighthouse, it's still not showing any base stations. Um, I've tried rebooting the HMD, I've tried restarting the service, um, but what I think I have found that has worked for me the last two times I've tried it, so this will be the third time, hopefully the third time's the charm, um, is going to the computer where the HMD is plugged in, disconnecting the USB 3 connection, and reconnecting it. So let me do that and we'll see if it resolves the problem now. If it does, then that seems like it's a viable workaround. It's not a workaround I like as far as having to unplug and replug it back in, but let's see if it works. Okay, so the USB 3 is disconnected and PyTool comes up saying that the headset is disconnected. So let me go back and plug the USB 3 back in. And there we go. So this is three for three that it's worked for me. Um, so now, we get the behavior you expect, where it's saying that it's not tracked, it detects that there is a base station, and in this situation what I found is if you hide the headset as far as like turning it away and turning it back towards the base station, that usually does get it to hook up, and that's not, I mean, that's not ideal either, but it's certainly workable, so that now the headset is tracking. We can verify that in Steam VR. So we get both the headset and the base station indicator in the Steam VR status. Tracking is working. Both translation as well as orientation.
And now that it's in this state, if we go back and we do the same setting switch that we did a moment ago, you'll see that it's different. If we go back to nine axis, go to status, this is like the situation was a moment ago. It gives us the name of the headset, it shows both base stations gray, and it is doing tracking, but if we look in Steam VR, it's only the orientation tracking. It no longer has translation, which is what you expect for the nine axis tracking. And the status only shows the headset. But if we switch it back in the settings to use Lighthouse, now it shows the base station, shows the name, and if we put it away so that it legitimately can't see the base station, it goes into this state where it's not tracked, says please place the headset in a position where the base station can see it. Um, and we can get it to hook back up. So if your headset is doing a similar thing where it seems like it's just not even trying to do the lighthouse tracking. Um, what I've observed with mine is that unplugging the USB 3 connection and then plugging it back in does seem to resolve it. And once it's been tracking, I've never had it drop out. Um, you know, I've done races for hours and stuff like that um, and never had a problem. If it seems like the system initializes properly and it has the lighthouse tracking, then it seems like you're good to go. So. Anyway, your mileage may vary, um, but I just wanted to share this as a workaround that I found because until yesterday, it had been working flawlessly. And then today, and, you know, having it sometimes boot up without the tracking has been really frustrating and I didn't know any resolution to do it. Um, so discovering that unplugging the USB 3, plugging it back in seems to get it to pick up the tracking at least is a workable, um, you know, compromise solution. I'd prefer it, obviously, if we didn't have to do this, um, but it's way better than just rebooting the computer and it's hoping for its solution by itself. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Drive safe. I'll see you later.